Richard's three ways with Somerset beef was fantastic, but to take them on, we found one of the county's best kept secrets. We've heard that Tony and Jane Corp are breeding water buffalo right here in Somerset. I've never cooked a buffalo before. <laughs> Me neither. It's not all apples and cider, you know. No. It's West Country water buffalo. The only thing that will keep them in is electric fence. Are we switched off? <laughs> <laughs> limbo, dude, limbo. Tony, have you ever had a stampede? <laughs> Not quite. It's um, something a bit different for Somerset. And yet, because of all the westerns we watch, they're so familiar. <laughs> they always stay in a bunch. Right. And they've got lovely eyes. They have? Yeah. They have. Do you treat them the same as beef or is Very it... similar. Right. And what's the meat like? It's much tenderer than ordinary beef. Oh, that's a good yeah. thing. And it's 40% lower in cholesterol than beef. I think it's even lower than chicken. Wow. Wow. So, yeah. What made you go for water buffalo? Well, originally I bought them with the intention of milking them to make mozzarella cheese. Yes. Because yeah. I've been a dairy farmer all my life yeah. up until about 13 years ago. Yeah. We bought 22 and a bull and we've reared them up and gone from there and now we've got just about 200. Would you like to come in and meet Barry a minute and yes. uh, see some of the meat? Well, look at that. Is the fat similar to beef? It is similar, but it's always very, very white. Not like ordinary beef, which is very yellow. How long do you hang the meat for? Three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. You yeah. cut them up exactly the same as ordinary beef. The silver side there, your rump runs through there, and the sirloin runs through there. But they don't produce so much meat as ordinary beef. Oh, mm -hmm. They are a unique animal. Yeah. Right. Look at that, it's cutting like butter. Buffalo fillet, all trimmed, ready for you. Excellent. What we ought to do is take you indoors and let you try some. You're talking our language now, Tony, <laughs> I tell you. This is Jane, my wife. Hello, Jane and Dave. Pleased Hello. to meet you. Hello, Jane. I'm sorry. Hello, Hi. Nice Simon. to meet you. And here's some fillet that they would like you to cook, dear. Right. We're buffalo virgins. Never cooked a buffalo before. No. Right. See so what we can do. My way of cooking it is I just oil it both sides with olive oil and then salt and pepper it into a really hot pan. Both sides very quick. <laughs> Do you reckon two minutes each side, Jane? That's what I do. Right. Smell it already. Yeah, you can't wash. Two minutes. Mmm, good. I think that's ready now. Bang on. Bang on? Yeah. OK, take it off and let it rest. The anticipation's killing you. <laughs> I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Yes. Yeah. That's lovely. Oh. But that's really quite rare. Well, you get the best out of the fillet that way, don't you? I think so. Yeah. I need to eat more. Yeah, all right. Go on. Oh, give me a home where the buffaloes roam. Oh. Voice like crystal. <laughs> Breaks anything. Right. <laughs> Jane's cooking has really whetted my appetite. Let's cook a water buffalo fillet with a marabone crust. Brilliant! But we need to...